Hi, welcome to our unit 11 of grade time 4. We're going to have a series of six videos for this unit, and this is video number one. Hi, this is Emergency 911, your TV show that brings a new emergency and rescue story every week. This week, we'll tell you a story of bravery, a man who rescued a baby in the ocean. His name is George and works at a harbor in Watch It, UK. He was doing his regular duties when he heard a noise that caught his attention. On the other side of the harbor, some people were pointing and shouting, so he rode his bike as fast as he could. A woman was screaming desperately. Her six-month-old baby was strapped into the stroller and this stroller was in the water. With an act of bravery, he jumped into the ocean and pulled the stroller over to the harbor wall. Some people helped to tie a rope to the stroller and they managed to pull it out of the water and the babe was safe. We are now going to talk to George about this incident. George, thanks for giving us this interview. Oh, it's my pleasure. George, when did you realize things were wrong? Well, I saw a commotion at the other side of the harbor, and then I went there to check. People were screaming and shouting. When I got there, I saw there was a baby stroller in the water with a baby inside, and her mom was desperate. And why did you jump into the water? Can you swim? No, I'm not a very good swimmer. But I thought I needed to help the baby, so I jumped. Wow, that was bold. Then someone helped me with the rope. I got the rope and tied it to the, to the stroller. And then I pulled the stroller out of the water. Well done. And now you've been given a certificate of bravery. Yeah, yeah. But it was not all of me. Many people helped. Thank you, George. Now we're going to go back to the studio. What a story an act of bravery. In this story and many other stories, there are actions that have a cause and effect relationship. There is only a cause and effect relationship between two ideas if we can prove that one thing leads to another. Let's see this example. The baby was in great danger. He jumped into the water without thinking. What is the cause here? Yes, the cause is the baby, the baby was in great danger. And what's the effect or consequence? Yeah, he jumped into the water to save him or her. Can you notice the relationship between cause and effect? Now, do the activity in your book, page 103, 103, match uh, the causes 1 to 5 with the effects A to E. Okay, here we are. Did you do it? So page 103, let's correct it. Exercise number 6. We have some causes from 1 to 5 and some effects or consequences from A to E. Number 1. The baby was in great danger. This is the cause. What is the effect? He jumped in the water without, without thinking. Number two, he saved the baby's life. And what is the effect? He got a certificate of bravery. Number three, he heard a noise. What is the effect? He rode over quickly to see what was happening. Letter number four. He learned that the baby was okay. What is the effect? He felt very relieved. And number five. The baby wasn't breathing. And what is the effect? A nurse gave first aid. Okay, can you see the relationship between cause and effect? All right, let's try exercise number seven. Complete one to three with a cause or an effect. Okay, so here, for example, I'll give you another example. If I say, my laptop 
is broken. Therefore, I, can, I can't do my homework. Here I use therefore to link the cause and the consequence. Another way to link cause and consequence is by using the word so. For example, my laptop is broken, so I can't do my homework. And what is the difference between therefore and so? Therefore starts another sentence. My laptop is broken, period. Therefore, I can't do my homework. And so connects, connects two sentences without starting another one. For example, my laptop, my laptop is broken, comma. So I can do my homework. All right? If I do exercise number seven, activity number one. The wind became very strong. So the helicopter, how can you complete with your own ideas? Some, something happened, so we decided to call an ambulance. So what's the cause here? There is a cause in number three. Therefore, the victim was taken to the hospital. So I want you to think some creative ideas for you to complete sentences number one, two, and three. Okay? So that's the end of this this class, class number one, and I hope to see you in the next class. Bye-bye.